Hello everyone, I'm Paul Dunningbladder, the editor of CDN Computer Dealer News. With me here today is uh, Conrad Mandela, the channel chief for SAP Canada. Conrad, thanks for being with us. My pleasure as always, Paula. So, uh, Conrad, tell me about your uh, 2010 uh, channel plans and uh, how our partners going to be involved. Well, our channel plans for 2010, I know you and I have spoken a lot over the last few years, we're, we're on, a, on, a, on a continuum. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, our plans for 2010 are to be even more focused mm -hmm. on building an indirect channel. And uh, our goals this year are to do all of our net new sales, all of our net new transactions mm -hmm. through our partner channel, which okay. is just a huge transition for us mm -hmm. uh, from where we had been in the past. And uh, we've been able, enabled to do that because over the last couple of our years, our partners have just done an unbelievably good job of driving uh, revenue and, and net new names into our business. And as I mentioned to you earlier, uh, last year our partners grew their transactions 150% year yeah. over year. And so that you know, that sort of shift for us has enabled us to go even further down the path and, and drive uh, even more revenue into our channel. And now you have two uh, products that are basically going to be exclusively to the channel. Can you talk about that? Sure. So our Business One product, mm -hmm. uh, which is in our small enterprise mm -hmm. space, is 100% channel driven. We, uh, we're, we're, we're thrilled with the partner uh, performance in that space, and uh, that will continue to be a growth area for us. Uh, we're launching a new update to that product this year, as our partners are thrilled about it, and I'm really uh, excited about where that's going. In the all-in-one space, which is in that you know, that medium enterprise right. space that's, uh, that's in between our large enterprise and business one, uh, we too have seen some incredible growth there. In the last two years, we've doubled the number of partners that mm -hmm. have been in that space. And what's been great for me is it's been an and strategy. Mm -hmm. um, our partners that were strong before have continued to be strong. Right. And we've seen us go into white spaces and have those, those uh, new partners grow and uh, continue to add value into our channel. Now, about three years ago, you uh, you discussed with me like a strategy of going to distribution, and just recently, you even um, uh, talked about uh, value-added distribution. How is that process going? Well, that process is a, a significant shift for SAP, as, as you know, mm -hmm. and so the process is going reasonably well. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be uh, working with, uh, you know, we are in discussions with companies like Avnet and, and others to go down that path. Um, our first foray will be into the volume business. We will look at that for business one, as we talked about right. before. And then as the products become more commoditized, mm -hmm. which is the key enabler for us to right. get into that marketplace, uh, we will look at new opportunities for us to grow our other products into that space. So uh, speaking of volume, uh, you're, uh, you're obviously going to need more channel uh, support. That means more channel partners, uh, maybe even um, addressing some channel capacity issues. Um, how is that part of your, your, uh, your go forward strategy as you enter the marketplace um, in, in the SME? Well, you know, right now, um, our growth strategy is with partners and the, the the critical piece for us is to have partners that can can grow with us. So, um, our partners are investing. We've, we've created a stable environment for them to invest in. We've defined their market space. We've defined the areas that they can go in. And so, we're, we're seeing great growth there. Um, the second piece is that the products have become and are on that shift to becoming more commoditized. So, the barriers to entry for partners to join our channel have dropped significantly over the last couple of years. So, we've got great partners that are coming on board right now that are doing, you know, more more configured, more templated versions of our implementation at a much lower cost. And so as a result, we're seeing a great deal of interest, people actually calling us to become partners. Uh, that does a couple of things. Obviously, it eases the burden of my cost of acquiring new partners, which is a big factor for us. Mm -hmm. But also, it, it gives me a focus on, on, on the team that I'm building. I get uh, recruitment, but I've also had to ramp up my enablement team. And right. we've done a really good job. Uh, some of the key things that we've done there are uh, create channel camps. Mm -hmm. And if you uh, talk to any of our partners who've been through them, it's been a great learning exercise for them, for them to get up to speed much more rapidly. And uh, once they get up, up to speed, and we're able to bring in more partners in behind Behind them, and it's been a really good fluid process for us. Well, there you have it, folks, from the channel chief of SAP Canada, Conrad Mandela. Conrad, thanks a lot for your time. Really appreciate it. Always my pleasure. That's it for now. I'm Paul Dunleavitt for CDN Computer Dealer News. Thanks for watching.